Hello everyone and welcome to Shape Puzzles Day 2. We're going to do a bit of a recap and some subtraction skills first and then we're going to really dig into those shape puzzles. First of all, just some thoughts about the emotions that you should feel when you're doing maths. We hope that you, when you're doing maths, you experience challenge. We hope when you're doing maths, you experience success. Both are really great emotions. Maybe some days you'll feel more challenge, some days you feel more success. If you're going through challenge, how can you get more support? What can you try? What questions can you ask? It could be if you're having success, the key thing is thinking, how do I extend my learning? How can I explain my thinking? How can I show it? Can I think of other questions or harder questions that I can create? It's been amazing seeing the ways that you've done that. Let's get going on today's learning. We're going to start by recapping on this wonderful technique for adjusting subtraction calculations. 61 subtract 46. Well, actually, I know a way I can make this calculation easier. Because if I subtract 2 from both numbers, that difference will be the same. Because both numbers have got smaller by the same amount, the difference will stay the same. I can there just subtract the 10s from the 10s and the 1s from the 1s, uh, 15. So 61 subtract 46? Well, it'll be 15 as well. Now, have a look at how it can be useful to answer this question. 403 subtract 286. I wonder if you can think of a question that has the same answer as this one. Especially if you can find a question with the same answer as this one that is easier to calculate with. Pause the video and have a think. What could that question be? Now, not to say it's the only way, but I'm going to show you what I did. I thought a question with the same answer as this one can be found if I just subtract 4 from both numbers. There. 399 subtract 282. Now I can just do 300s take 200s, 9 10s take 8 10s, 9 1s take 2 1s, 117. 403 take away 286? 117 as well. Now let's get going again on those wonderful shape puzzles where each shape represents a different number. So again, if we look at this example here, a circle plus a rectangle plus a rectangle equals 15. And we know we can't work out yet the value of the circle or the rectangle. There's different possible values. Now, of course, it's possible to work out the value of, of both. Pause the video. What's the circle worth and what's the rectangle worth? How do you know? Well, let's have a look, because there's something interesting I find about this one. Well, I've got three of the circles, and that equals 45. So each circle must be an equal amount. Each circle must be worth 15. So the rectangles, to make 15, well, I must be adding zero each time. The rectangles must actually be worth zero. Let's have a look at this example here. So the top line equals 11. The bottom line equals 27. Hmm. Pause the video. This time, what's the same and what's different between those pictures? Can you work out the value of that rectangle? Okay, let's have a look. Well, you can see they've both got this circle and this rectangle. Here, we've got two extra rectangles and the answer increases from 11 to 27. It gets 16 more. So each of those two rectangles must be worth eight for me to be adding 16 by adding two rectangles. That, of course, means the other rectangles, all the rectangles are worth eight. And the circle must be worth three. Now, I'm going to show you a different one now. And this time there's three lines. Now, I just want you to think here. What do you notice about these, um, these three different lines? Anything between them that's the same and that's different. So have a look. What's the same and what's different? Pause the video and spot any little patterns that you notice. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Um, so, well, if we look at this top line, I can see that the rhombus plus the pentagon equals 10. And on the second line, the rhombus plus the triangle equals 11. So I know that this stays the same. The rhombus stays the same on both of them. And the pentagon and the triangle, well, which is more? Well, actually, the triangle must be worth more. It must be one more than the pentagon. The triangle is one more than the pentagon, because 11 is one more than 10. So let's have a look at this bottom line. I know that the triangle is one more than the pentagon. And in total, they're nine. We looked at these kind of puzzles last week. 
Hmm. So that must mean that the triangle must be worth five, the pentagon four, because I know the triangle's worth one more than the pentagon, and they've got a sum of nine. So what does that mean for our rhombus? It must be worth six. Now, we're going to finish by looking at one of the puzzles, one of the challenges we had from yesterday. So here it is. And again, I want you to look at this one and think, where would you start here? There isn't one line made from all the same shape. So how can you begin? Pause the video and think, where will you start from? Okay, well, I'm going to show you the way that the way that I would start here. And not to say it's the only way. Um, but if we look at this line here, a star plus a square plus a square equals 26. Now, I've got two stars and two squares. So how much more than 26 is that? Well, this is 34. So having this one extra star means I go from 26 to 34. So what's that as a difference? It's eight. The stars must be worth eight. Now, let's have a look at this. So two stars are um, 16 then. And so how much more to get to 25 for this square? That must be another nine. Um, now I can look at any line really with this um, with this rectangle in. A star, a, a, a star is eight um, plus my two squares, which is 18. Eight add 18 gets me to 26. So the rectangle, well, it must be worth 10. So finding your independent task. Um, home learning, all home lessons on icmaths.com or maybe you're on home learning year five and six. As normal, wherever you're watching the video from, if you click on the link underneath, it'll bring open this, this work here. Now have a look, we've got task A and task B. Task A, the challenge is understanding the idea of the, of, of the maths and the calculations that are involved. And task B is the same, except there's one main difference, which is as well as un having to understand the kind of calculation you need to do, you, there's actually challenge in the calculation that's used. Uh, there are larger numbers, slightly more challenge in the calculation, but we're all accessing the same maths there. Um, there's also a little puzzle underneath. You might want to have a go at that one as well. Treat yourself to a nice puzzle. And as ever, the answers are at the bottom. Good luck. So I'll see you back on Wednesday or day eight, when we're going to have a look at some of the shape challenges that you created. See you then.